This is what I looked like at 18, 20, and 22. This video is not an insane 50 pounds of muscle transformation. It is a natural body transformation and shows what is achievable by sticking to a calorie surplus and training. We can't all be in the 1% of genetic freaks that just put on muscle by sniffing it away. I believe I'm somewhere in the middle of the muscle gain distribution, maybe even a little below average. Honestly, it's pretty hard to tell. This is a three-dimensional body scan done in 2016 on the left, when my height peaked at 188 centimeters. And then five years later is on the right, done in December of 2021. You can see the size of my biceps, waist, chest, quads and calves have barely changed over the last five years. When I did that scan in December and saw the comparison from five years ago with my own eyes, it, it shocked me. I was fed up with lacking the consistency needed to reach my desired physique. The main problem is that I could never seem to stay consistent on my goals. Do I want to get bigger, stronger, faster, fitter? Or do I want to focus on my football, which has always been my number one priority. But after my second calf surgery at the end of 2021, it gave me only one focus as they recovered, and that was to get bigger and stronger. That brings us to this year where I spent six months training in the gym four times per week. This video is a before and after of the main exercises I completed every single week for six months. So let's do this. I was also lucky enough to be taking care of my granddad for most of these six months. And although he's passed on now, I want to dedicate this video to him because the gym was the only thing keeping me sane while taking care of that old bastard. Love you, Kevy. And bring on the exercise. If you don't have a vision of where you go and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. People always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they say, why is it that you're working out so hard? Five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And I told people all the time, I said, because to me, I'm shooting for gold. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision, turn into reality. Every single set that I do, every repetition, every weight that I lift will get me a step closer to turn this goal into reality. So I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound squat. I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound bench press. I couldn't wait to do another 2,000 reps of sit-ups. I couldn't wait for the next exercise. So let me tell you something, visualizing your goal and going after it makes it fun. You got to have a purpose no matter what you do in life. You got to have a purpose. I'm the teens I told her, ultra beam out the solar. Oh, these niggas dumb, dumb. And they claim it for the culture, trying to keep my composure. When I scream at the chauffeur, I ain't mean, I just focus. I ain't mean, bitch, I'm focused. Playing king like it's poker, but you ain't dealing with the joker. Global woman getting closer. Thank God I'm bipolar. Whole life on the floater. Don't need rings or the trophies. That's his ringing from the toasters. Have a drink for the coldest. Lean out slow, got us clean out of soda. Before the flood, niggas judge. They did the same thing to Noah. Everybody need yonder. My cousin's mad at my auntie. He bought a crib out the country. And try to miss a BC Galant me. Yeah, this the one and only. You can't tell a unicorn from a pony. Live freedom, this is freedom. Fuck your feelings, you can keep them. Show your grill when you greet them. A nigga near when you meet them. No God when you see him. Love God, you gon' need him. Don't you love God? Won't you hug God? This is God in the flesh. Come and touch God. Give a blowjob. Kanye gave up the West. Kanye the Yeezy. Maybe just yay. Fuck a slay name. Fuck a slay name. Fuck a slay name. Got the whole game for 400 years. The prophecy 2019. Them niggas is wrong. Them niggas is wrong. Them niggas ain't wrong.
Number one spot, you been cheating on me. Niggas get you and be thinking they me. You could be you, but you never be me. You never be me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The universe is on our side. So they're pretty much all the results here. You can see this is me in, I guess, downlighting. There's only one light in the room and this is it. It was at nighttime. You can see this is the first time I've ever had a visible tricep. Obviously the big shadow helps, but usually there'd be no shadow because there wasn't much tricep there. So for me, that was probably my favorite bit of looking at this footage back. You can see and make your own decision on how you think I've improved and what muscles seem to have grown more than others. But for me, I'm just super happy with the results all around. Having a look at the 3D comparison, you can see that I put on eight kilos. I think I topped out at like 10, but my biceps up four centimeters each, which is awesome. Waist, stomach, hips, not too worried about, but legs also three and four centimeters bigger. You can also see that the thighs look quite a lot bigger in the 3D images there. Now on to diet. Yes, I was in calorie surplus. I was aiming for about 3,300 calories a day. Diet was pretty much the same thing the entire time. I was just eating beef or lamb mince, a kilogram, 700 grams to a kilogram every single day. I'd usually have it with some eggs or some butter. And then in the evening, if I felt a little bit peckish, I'd have some Greek yogurt with some berries. Everything else was pretty much just calories from milk. If you're able to tolerate milk and you're skinny, milk is a great way to get a lot of liquid calories in. I would always have a liter straight after training and it really carried me in the last six months and really putting on some actual weight. Finally, supplements, I took no creatine, no protein shakes. You don't need it if you get enough from food. That doesn't mean I don't recommend it if you don't get it from food. The only supplements I took consistently throughout the six months were my omega-3s and then occasionally some magnesium when I feel like it, as well as vitamin D if I'm not getting enough from outside. If you guys want to see another video, which is my six-month squat transformation, you can click on it here and it's also linked in the top of the description. See yous.